Good morning, everyone. My name is Kat. I'm a senior architecture student here at Roger Williams, and today I'll be giving you a tour of the building. This is behind me is the School of Architecture's gallery space. We usually have two to three exhibits per semester, featuring important and historic works of architecture by a variety of different firms. Most frequently, we'll have work done by our teaching firms and residents. For example, the one behind me here that you can see is for Schwartz Silver. So this is the atrium space. It connects the architecture school library on one end of the building with the student lounge on the other side, with the studio spaces off to the right. It's where we use a lot of the space to display exemplary student work, as well as it often acts as a gathering space for beginning of semester studio meetings. So this is the architecture school library. Personally, this is one of my favorite places to come and work uh, in, the, in the architecture school. It's really quiet, and I know that as much as we like to pretend that studio is the perfect working environment, people like to talk, and you know, it gets sort of loud in there. But if you really need to sit down and get some work done, this is like the perfect place to do it. It contains over 20,000 different volumes specifically relating to art and architecture, as well as over 200 periodicals. So below me is our studio space here in the architecture building and when every student comes to the school they get their very own desk which comes equipped with a monitor, a locker for storage, and your own desk chair. The studio is a place where we as architecture students get to do work. You can, it doesn't matter if you're just doing studio here or not, you can do any kind of work here. It's sort of like a focused place. Larger walls separate different studio sections and smaller walls separate different rows of desks and scattered among the studio spaces there are collaborative workspaces where students can come and work on models, group projects, or just anything that might require a little more space than a personal desk. So this is our 3D production lab. As you can see behind me, we've got three 3D printers currently working on student projects. Over back there, we have a powder printer, which uh, uses glue to create shapes out of sand. And also here, we have three laser cutters. So this is the new student lounge. Uh, this is a space for students to sort of sit and relax and get away from their work for a second. Um, it has a fridge, a Keurig, a microwave, and a lot of open storage space for students to be able to store their food or store snacks for later. So this student lounge is sort of more of a place for students to get away from the studio. A lot of club meetings are actually held here and a lot of students like to sit in these chairs and collaborate. It also includes a couple vending machines over here for students to grab food or drinks if they're hungry. So this is our printing room. This space is available for students to have free large format printing and scanning opportunities whenever they need. This is the VR virtual reality room here at Roger Williams, and this is a place where students can both work on experiencing and looking at models in 3D or in VR, as well as building them to get real-time environmental feedback. So this is the wood shop here at the School of Architecture. It sits adjacent to the production labs, and it's a place where students can come to work on a wide variety and different scales of projects. Uh, the wood shop can basically accommodate for everything from the size of a personal furniture project to very, like a very small study model for your studio or your construction materials class. The wood shop itself contains a multitude of tools, including a table saw, band saw, hacksaw, jigsaw, and honestly, just about anything else that you might need to make your projects come to life. It also includes a CNC machine.